And let's get back to our friends at the World Socialist <clears throat> website. Trayvon Austin, by the way, is he's an old star. One of the best out there. Mm -hmm. um, consistently writes excellent pieces there. And <laughs> on top of the fact that COVID funds are being used to fund private prisons and cops. Oh, yeah, by the way, Congress ain't passing anything to reform police budgets at all. Bipartisan nope. negotiations for the George Floyd Act, legislation that Democrats claimed would enact police reform measures in the wake of George Floyd's brutal murder by Minneapolis police, have collapsed, effectively killing the bill. And they sent out Senators Cory Booker, my senator, and the lead Dem uh, the, who was the lead Democratic negotiator, reportedly told Dim Scott, the lead Republican, that he was done negotiating after Scott rejected a final offer from the Democrats. Great picture. So, <clears throat> yeah, the House originally passed it in March by a party line vote. The bill would create a national standards for police for police use of force, make it easier for to charge officers who commit misconduct and drastically reduce qualified immunity which shields officers from most brutality lawsuits. There were a lot of critics of the yep. bill as well, but it certainly would have been the first step. It was only a priority for the, the administration while the Derek Chauvin trial was underway. Right. And then he got convicted. So once he was convicted and the immediate threat of widespread popular unrest had passed, he stopped talking about the bill and congressional leadership was happy to let Booker Scott and Karen Bass engage in protracted backroom talks. Backroom no, talks are favorite things that happen. Oh, with the wrong kind of cigars. Right? Oh, gosh. Hey. Yeah. These talks supposedly aimed at overcoming a likely filibuster in the Senate by cutting back on the already modest proposals to win the support of 10 Senate Republicans. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Sure. Right. Jesus. Okay, talks dragged on with two sides coming no closer. Shock, shock. I mean, McCon this is all driven by Mitch McConnell. Like, he's going to give them anything. Yeah. There's only one way to do that. Think, we did the best we could. You, well, there would be one way do they could do that. you think the parliamentarian could get this done? You think... <laughs> Well, you think the parliamentarian has enough power to do this? I, I don't know, but Joe Manchin probably does because he's already the most powerful person in the country, right? <sighs> sure, yeah. Yes. Yep. I did see a non-live, Paul Bradley, that um, Norway did end all lockdown restrictions. I believe Sweden and Denmark are pretty close behind them if they did not already. Oh, no, or no, no, no grapes. Didn't we talk about grapes? What happens when we eat grapes? <laughs> no grapes. No, no. Explosive stuff happens when we eat grapes. That's oh, not, no God. Grapes. What is wrong with you? <laughs> yes, Joe Manchin is the parliamentarian. Do dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I thought it was Marjorie yeah, Taylor what? Green. No, couldn't be. Um, uh. We accepted significant compromises. <laughs> no, we... A grape reckoning this morning. That's disgusting. Uh, knowing that there will be a tough sell to the community. Yeah, of course. Right now, it appears unsurprisingly that Tim Scott was simply the front man for the Senate Republican leadership, which sought to block the passage of any bill, preferring to appeal to the fascistic pro Trump wing of the party by depicting the bill as a democratic effort to defund the police. Of course. Of course. Couldn't have that happen at all. No. All right. Democrats weren't even able to secure a deal based on a Trump era executive order that banned chokeholds and no knock warrants, limited the transfer of military yeah. equipment to local law enforcement. That was a big one and created a database to document complaints against police officers. There is no national database. Yep. Still. Yep. So horrifying. Just welcome to America. So. We're funding the cops with COVID money and we're not going to reform the cops. And Congress just said, fuck off. Thanks everybody. 